Welcome back, everybody. Tell you the story of a man who left his dream job to help other people pursue their dreams. It's this week's Black in America, and George Howell talks with a successful athletic footwear designer who left a lucrative career at Nike to try to help change the complexion of the footwear industry. Listen. This is a, a snapshot of some of the products I've designed over the course of my career. This is the Air Jordan 21. Working at Nike, Dwayne Edwards designed the signature sneaker lines of superstar athletes, Carmelo Anthony, Derek Jeter, and his childhood idol, Michael Jordan. But after 11 years at Nike, Edwards walked away. The footwear industry is close to a $50 billion industry in the U.S. alone. And um, there's probably a good three to 4,000 footwear designers in this industry, um, but people of color are underrepresented. So what you're telling me, it comes down to exposure, people knowing about the industry, and also knowing where to go, how to maneuver your way into positions like you've had. Oh, most definitely. If you're asked to do something, you have to do it. That's when this father of two decided to pool his own resources to open a footwear design school. I know we're at the malls purchasing the product. We have to be designing the product as well. Pinsole Footwear Design Academy opened in Portland in 2010. And for grads like Precious Hannah, it helped her secure a job at Nike. When Pinsol came, it taught me that you don't need to have a computer to draw shoes. Here's a pencil, here's some paper. Take it, do what you do. From women to minorities, Dwayne Edwards is inspiring a new, diverse wave of shoe designers. Designing a product that goes into a store, that's going to come and go. Right. But impacting a life is generational. All because he chose to leave a lucrative career behind him to teach others how to follow in his footsteps. George Howell, CNN, Portland, Oregon. Oh, I love that story and I love that man. Our Black in America documentary, it's Black in America 5 this time around. This year it's called Who is Black in America? We investigate uh, colorism and discrimination. Um, premieres on Sunday, December 9th at 8 p.m. and then repeats at 11 p.m. only on CNN. So I hope you watch that.